When you hurt a narcissist and trigger their narcissistic injury, this will happen. People who are weak, caring, and giving with their time, money, and other resources are attractive to narcissists. The most common tactic is to use the victim to get something for yourself. They will marry the richest, best-looking, most skilled, etc., high-status person they can find. Hi, everybody. Especially for you US citizens who want to get consultation and advice from experts for only $1 a week for healing from a very painful narcissistic relationship, please click the link in the description. When given a chance, they will start to see how far they can go. It feels like playing tug of war. You'll feel the pain right away. As time goes on, we need to break down ever bigger walls more and more. The partner who stays because they feel stuck and need the narcissist to feel good about themselves is the easiest person to talk to. Those who have been lied to and manipulated for a long time, possibly starting with a narcissistic father, are especially sensitive to this. To start, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new here, you should know that we're obsessed with uncovering the narcissist's dirty little secret. I want you to know how much your future assistance will be appreciated as we get started. Negative emotions like anger and outbursts are not always indicative of narcissism. Brain damage or a chemical imbalance could be to blame. But narcissistic fury covers a wide range of expressions, from violent outbursts to more subtle types of violence like smouldering resentment. A narcissist can become depressed if they aren't getting the focus they need, even if it means neglecting more pressing concerns. When narcissists' demands and goals aren't met, they may become exceedingly hostile or passive-aggressive to an extreme degree, depressing because it fractures their cherished image of themselves. How is this possible if narcissists are so concerned with their outward appearance? Therefore, I'd want to discuss the effects of a narcissistic injury on the narcissist today. How much do they agree or disagree with one another? Where do they go wrong? A person can have a wide range of narcissistic injuries. There is flexibility at every turn. But I'll also cover the worst narcissistic injury that may happen and how they'll probably deal with it. Narcissistic wounds, also known as wounded egos, are emotional traumas that cause narcissists to feel less worthy of admiration and pride in themselves. This is the standard response whenever their fabricated identity is under threat. The extent of the wound may also influence the narcissist's attitude. However, their reaction remains consistent regardless of the severity of the injury. For the sake of brevity, I will briefly describe the typical reaction of a narcissist to a narcissistic injury. When their pride is harmed, they feel humiliated, which is rapidly replaced by fury. As a result, the narcissist gets preoccupied with a vengeance. Narcissists are unable to forgive wrongs, no matter how severe. They don't even offer a pretense of regret. It is, therefore, irrelevant whether they have or not. They will be planning how to get back at you and seek vengeance. Smear campaigns, whether conducted in private or in public view, are their favoured method of punishment. A narcissist may be cruel at first, but then change their behaviour abruptly. I'm not just talking about the lifetime smear campaign here. There are narcissistic injuries that might push the narcissist to even more severe actions. The reason for this is that, in addition to everything else, a narcissist can be dealt a lethal blow, where their sense of self-worth and dignity disintegrate before their eyes and where an overpowering sense of humiliation results from facing the truth about who or what they truly are. The breaking point of a narcissist might be triggered by a number of different things. These are the kinds of situations that would rip open the deepest scars in a narcissist's fragile ego. In the video, I went into detail on how desertion, 
exposure and insult may hurt a narcissist. Those who possess all three at once pose a significant threat to narcissists. The narcissist then either becomes highly terrified of this person and deliberately avoids them or develops an obsessive desire to destroy them. If the latter is the case, they might relax their guard upon seeing the one who hurt them. In this situation, the narcissist has no choice except to admit that the other person is someone they dislike. They would like to have the choice of having them killed. A person with an extreme personality type like narcissism may suffer far-reaching ramifications from such a severe narcissistic injury, and not just for themselves. The narcissist's next move is dictated by the intensity of their current feelings. If it's anxiety, they may feel helpless and hemmed in. They are less likely to succeed in treatment because they are more likely to run away and pretend nothing happened. Narcissists may try to put a curse or hex on their victim, hire a hitman to eliminate them, or turn to other extreme measures if their hatred for them is so deep that it cannot be reasoned. A narcissist would have another person do anything if they were sure it wouldn't affect them negatively. When another narcissist has hurt a narcissist, their shadow side emerges. Playing the victim card might help them get support, but it would only serve to distract them from their true motivations. But if you're an expert, you can zero in on exactly what's wrong and how deep their anger runs. You'll be getting someone's first-hand account of what happened. Narcissists feel a wide spectrum of negative feelings when they are injured. Common negative emotions include dread, anger, resentment and embarrassment. This only serves to amplify the narcissist's underlying negativity. Narcissists are incapable of handling simultaneous insult, humiliation and rejection. Like any other form of ego injury, the damage caused by a narcissistic injury is irreversible. They are miserable to be around because of the incessant stream of self-deprecating comments they make. If a narcissist suffers for too long without being able to exact retribution, they may grow insane or violent. Narcissists aren't interested in making amends or recovering from past hurts. They have no intention of changing and their refusal to forgive or admit fault diminishes any chance of that happening. If you have humiliated someone to the point where they want to kill themselves, you should respect their choice. I pray this video was helpful to you. Tell me about a time you caused someone else to suffer a narcissistic wound and how they responded. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Questions or comments can be left in the space provided below. To be notified whenever we add new content, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell button in the description. I greatly value your attention and time in watching this.